Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Tuani once again from learn-machine.com. Today in this video, we will be talking about how you can install Playwright using VS Code. In the previous lectures, we already discussed how to install Playwright using CLI. So in case if you haven't seen, we already discussed this video how to install Playwright and we discussed Playwright using CLI commands. But now I will show you there's a dedicated VS Code extension available for test uh, for, sorry for Playwright using VS Code and it's officially published by Microsoft. Using this plugin, you can do a lot of things. You can actually install, you can write your test, you can run your test cases, you can even do the recording as well. So which I will show you now. Very easy. So this is actually my another workspace. If you see, I already have this testing tab available. In your case, you will not find it. But let me show you how you can actually enable this. And with the help of this plugin, you can install. But if you already have installed, you can get this testing tab and you can start running your test directly from here. So I'm going to open one folder. I already created one folder before rec recording this video. So this is a blank folder, nothing else. Okay, completely blank folder, no files. And let me first of all, you know, remove this extension, which I already have. So I'm going to remove this. And you will see I don't have that testing tab available here, right? Initially it was available. So same thing will be for you as well. Now how you can get started in case if you don't have anything, come back to the extensions and search here for Playwright. Playwright. And you can see this is one Playwright test for VS Code and it is published by Microsoft. Using this extension, you can do a lot of things. You can install Playwright, run tests using a single click. You can run multiple tests. Okay, it will show you the browsers as well. When you run from CLI, right, you have to add hyphen hyphen headed or you have to change the configuration file. But here you will see the browsers will invoke and your test will run. In case if you want to pick a specific locators, you can do that. You can do the debugging, lot of new stuff. So, okay, recording at the cursor, recording a new test and so on. So let me click on install and it got installed very quickly fine so once your extension is done you can see we have a new testing tab available here right but we don't have anything obviously it's a fresh project fresh folder you will not find anything in case if you have already one you can import and continue but suppose now you don't have play right and now you want to get started so first of all click on go sorry click on view and click on command palette you'll find all of this okay so this is the one that I've used recently so it says recently used in your case if you don't find just type install playwright okay so you will be getting this first option click on this install playwright and now it is asking you okay select which browser you want to install by default chromium firefox webkit is selected and you can also use this called use javascript by default TypeScript is the default one but you can click on this use JavaScript and click on OK. You can see it's done. Now let's look at the terminal. So you can see this is installing Playwright. All these browsers, okay, browser Chromium, Firefox, WebKit install. Then it did couple of commands and finally it created one package.json file with this and then it has all these files that I will show you within a minute and then it is giving that inside the directory if you want to run a few things these are the commands which they have given if you just say npx playwright test we discussed all of this right so same thing it is showing if you want to run all the tests end to end you can run this command if you want to run on a specific uh, project let's say chromium webkit firefox if you want to run a specific file you can give the file name if you want to run in a debug mode hyphen hyphen debug you want to generate code all of this guys we have already discussed in this playlist okay the playlist which I shared right now right that has all the videos I would highly recommend it was that videos so let me show you this part once it is done if you come back to your workspace you will find everything see they already had given one github actions as well in case if you want to run your playwright test directly on the github actions file is already available you can just run it We'll talk about how to build the complete uh, GitHub Actions 
for playwright as of now this is one example test which they have provided plus this is one advanced test with lot of tests they have already given so this is fine this part is like coming as part of their playwright repository or the playwright project that we have this is interesting part this is our folder actually test folder if you see this test folder right so this is already here if you click on example this is actually our spec file in that spec file we have only one test so if you click on this run you can see browser got started it will run the basic test okay and it is running fine now let's say if you have multiple tests in the same spec file you can run the complete spec file as well okay right now we just have one test so we can directly run from here or here it will run only one test but in case if you have multiple if you click on it okay it will run all the tests let me run it once again it's too fast it's a very small test it's running very fast now you must have noticed that right now this is not detecting okay this is one separate uh, folder they have created so it's only taking test so what if i drag and drop this so this is a blank folder now i can delete this come back here you will see in the same test folder now we have another spec file and this spec file have multiple tests right so if i click let's say the first one okay success but what if i want to run all the test so i can click here you can see it's running all and it's too fast and all the tests got executed successfully right so this is the folder totally it took 4.3 seconds this took to 70 milliseconds and the total uh, execution took 4.6 seconds in case if you want to do the configuration let's say you want to run on specific browser let's say the same test i want to run on firefox you can see it's coming here actually on my secondary monitor and it's running yeah both the spec file executed and all the 25 tests executed let's say now i want to run the same thing on the webkit so select webkit running all the tests yeah and this is also done okay uh, along with that let's say if you want to do the debugging part again you can select which browser you want to execute and continue now this is actually your terminal right so this is the output which it is showing that how many tests it is uh, running whether they are passed or failed right everything it will show you here let's say purposefully i'm making one mistake here in this particular spec file if i go back let me change this to intro to mukesh now obviously this should fail come back again and run all the spec files okay let me just close it all the necessary browsers okay let me run it again so it started chromium by default it's picking chromium but in case if you want to change you can change so this is the one end-to-end -end scenario which is running and the second one which we made purposefully mistake right you can see it says waiting and it failed and you will see expect this to receive uh, to have this URL this is the received string which is directly coming from the application and this was the expected one so obviously it got failed and you will see here if you want to run the specific test or the fail test you can select this and execute right so it will not run all only that particular test which got failed it will get executed so very handy plugin very interesting in case you are just doing the local development feel free to take advantage of this plugin Obviously, once your execution is done, like once your script is done, obviously you will be using CLI commands to execute, right? So maybe let's say using Jenkins, GitHub Actions or any other CI server. That time you definitely need the playwright or command line. But here while developing the scripts locally, take advantage of this plugin. Whether you are starting from the scratch or already you have a project, you want just this kind of features, please use this. And even if you go back, let's say here, 
you will get this options directly okay for example this one let me change it to intro again see this option right right now it got failed so if i click on this again it will start so yes it got success right if i want to run it again no need to go back to testing again and again directly if i want to run this one i can just click here the test got executed right so please try this extension very handy very easy to use very good options available so let me know if you face any issue let me know if you got some new knowledge from this video if this video helped in any manner then do share with your friends colleague and please support this channel by subscribing let me know if you face any other issue and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye